Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Hey, guys. How's it going? Let me know if you can hear me. I'm just going to let everyone know that I'm live now. So do excuse me just for one second. I'm just going to make sure everyone... How's everyone doing? So as you all know, this is a fundraiser. Um, I'm fundraising for abortionfunds.org. Um, this is going to be a constant fundraiser as well. So you can come back and donate if you want to. I will also um, be donating Super Chats, my AdSense from this also, and I'll be matching whatever is donated. So if we can donate as much as possible, that'll be absolutely incredible. Live now. Sorry, everyone, just making sure I'm sharing this on my socials. Cool. How is everyone doing? Slow mode is on, so I do apologize if it's going a bit too quick. Quick, you can ask me any questions you like. It can be makeup, it can be general life advice, although I don't think I can give very good advice. Hi, Samantha, how are you? Flippin' tomfoolery. <laughs> thank you all so, so much for donating, Amy, Lindsay, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Would love a video on how to avoid cover, oh, cover more smile lines. It's really difficult because when you try to cover a, an area of a face that moves quite frequently, it, makeup is going to kind of like move around and things like that. So it is a little bit difficult. Instead of thinking about how to prevent it, um, think about how you're going to touch it up a little bit later. You know what's a really good tool? Beauty Blender do these like flat sponges basically, or you can buy like a super cheap beauty sponge and cut it in half and just use that to tap your foundation back into place. Um, yeah, that's a really good way to, to touch up. My holiday was amazing. Thank you so much. Hi from New Orleans. Hi, I love it there. I can't wait to go back there one day. My vacation was beautiful. Thank you. It was, it was weird not to do anything for a week, um, to not work. Yeah, it was great. Thank you so much for donating, guys. Thank you, Kate. Um, this is so lovely, lovely. Solidarity with my American and Irish who have the same awful abortion lawsuits. Yeah, absolutely. And I know some people, there's, there's stuff like this when it comes to, and this is what I'm going to say about this when it comes to fundraising and raising money. People think that it doesn't really relate to you if you're in a different country. But here's the deal, right? Humans are affected by this no matter what country they're in. I donate to charities myself. I don't just donate to charities in England, you know. <laughs> just for people in England don't matter. Just for animals in England, you know. It's, it's not like that. This is a worldwide thing. A lot of people are affected. Now, I was saying a minute ago to my members, I just did an exclusive live for them. Reading people's stories on Twitter, think, hearing their experiences, how it's going to affect them has been heartbreaking and devastating and to be honest with you unreal like i like i it's almost like i i can believe it and i can't at the same time so the uh, more money we can raise in general is incredible and also as well i just saw michaela bless on on tiktok she is absolutely um you know, in bits about, of course, but she's she was donating her new collection that she's launched with Glamlight, which is incredible branding, amazing products. I, I personally really like them. She's donating money from her, her sales to that as well. So everyone's um, pitching in. Where does the money go? This is a, a fundraiser for abortionfunds.org. Um, so it's going to go to them. I have put the link below and you can actually see the fundraiser information. There's a very brief bit of information um, in the description box, but you can absolutely go over there and, and take a look to where it all goes. Of course, of course. Thank you so much, Karen, Nicole, Michelle. Thank you for donating. $680 already, 710. That's incredible. Thank you. Have you ever tried the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator? No, I haven't, but Wet n Wild is a brand that I'm constantly like surprised by their um concealer i always forget the name and i always mention it marie thank you so much um and even the, the anonymous people thank you thank you um there is it's either photo focus or photo finish concealer one of the best so if anybody ever recommends wet and wild to me and says it's good i'm like yeah i, I bet it is 
Sadly, no money to pay for food at the moment, so cannot contribute quite yet, but I'll be trying to take part of my paycheck next month to donate. Please do not feel you have to physically give money. You can watch this live back tomorrow or later on. I have adverts on it, so any AdSense, I will donate. So just by watching it, you don't even have to physically donate. Just by watching, you are therefore donating. So please don't think you have to physically give money. Um, but thank you. Thank you. You really don't have to stress about that. How do I join your membership, Robert? Hi, Lauren. Thank you. Um, you can go to my um, homepage on YouTube and click join. And it's just there. Uh, wet and wild is like every, every American girl's first makeup. For a good reason, I assume, right? Do you have a member paid page? Yes, I do, Samantha. Thank you. Sorry, as I just said, sorry, um, it's it's on the thing. I do a live every month and then sometimes like um, exclusive videos and stuff as well. Thank you so much for your donations, everyone. Thank you. As where's that gone? As a person who had as a person who had to have abortion in week 13 on a very, very wanted baby because of medical reasons, this breaks my heart. USA is so disappointing. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's This is a thing. A lot of people just don't realize how much this affects people. Um, and like I said, reading other people's stories like yours, it's just like people need to, to really need to think more about this. Don't forget to sign petitions that online and circulators out right now fight for us women to keep our rights absolutely charlie thank you so much for that i will actually look into that myself and i'll link some below this video so if you're watching this now there will be um petitions to sign also hey robert since i'm pregnant i developed a kind of mustache out of freckles on my upper lip that appears olive green yeah how can i cover it without turning gray peach isn't working lots of love um joanna bronzer so this sounds really strange but if you can get a bronzer that is for a fairer skin tone you're going to that kind of balances out with the rest of your skin and i know it feels seems weird you're like why would i want to bronze this area but it's color correcting without being too orange or too red and not peach enough bronzer is i always used to use bronzer on very mild um, color correcting, something that needed color correcting, but we didn't want it to be obvious. Bronzer has those deeper, richer red tones to them. So look for one that is a bronzer for fairer skin, depending on your skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, go for a nice bronzer that has a, a, a deep, like um, rich red tone to it. But, but try them out first. Oh, is it safe? Is it safe to try? Oh, I haven't been in a store for so long. Makeup question, Kaylee, hey, why is blending my eyeshadow so hard? You do amazing looks, but for me, it either looks too blocky and not blended enough or like a messy explosion in a Crayola factory on my lid. Blending is um, all about angles with your makeup brush, right? We have a normal blending brush. If you go this way, this direction, as in your brush is like this, you're creating a rigid ridge, I guess, a line. When you're blending, you almost want to come out this way. So you use the whole surface off the brush, the makeup brush. Also as well, if you do find blending a little bit difficult, make sure that your brush is domed and not flat on top. It'll make it easier to blend. And I know it's a weird one, but get your little finger out. Try not to hold the whole brush with, how do you even do that? With your whole hand. If you, it sounds really strange, but if you're holding it like this, you have a lot of a lighter touch and your blending is going to be a lot more delicate as well. But come in straight forward at this angle and be careful where you're bringing in your color. If you're going to use three colors, let's say a color on a lid, a deeper color on the outside and a lighter one here, let's have you, you do your darker one to about here and stop and then gently blend it out. Your lighter color and then blend about. I always use minimum free products to blend eyeshadow. So I'll have my applicator br brush, which is where I pick up most of a product and put it where I want. Then I will blend it out with a separate brush. And then I will have a flat brush for the lid. But you don't necessarily have to use a different brush for every color. Just make sure you have a big fluffy brush to blend and then um, a, a brush for precision. I hope that helps. <laughs> Thank you. 1.3 thousand raised already. Thank you so much, everyone. That's incredible. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Tips on how to control oily makeup. It's all about skin prep. If you have a setting spray that you really, really like, that is your primer. Primer doesn't have to be um, a physical, actual primer. When we think of oily skin, we need to block the oil from, from coming through in the first place. 
So putting powder on top may make it look matte. It may be useful further down the line. Spraying it with something may look helpful, but we need to block the source off the actual oil. So a setting spray on the whole face, I would drench my face in it, right? And fan it dry and then go over. NYX do a really good setting spray. It's, it's just their matte one and I believe it has powder in it. So you can do that, spray like moisturize or whatever, spray the setting spray over your whole face, drench, fan it dry, even just, you know, with a bit of paper or magazine, then that's your base and you're preventing oil from coming through. Being oily, we know it's going to come through eventually, unfortunately, but it's going to keep it at bay for a longer time. Figured out, apparently I can't donate from Finland. Sorry, I really wanted to. Don't worry at all. Like I said earlier, if you didn't hear, I, you can literally just watch this and you'll be absolutely fine. There are adverts, watch tomorrow, leave it on your phone, turn my voice off if you want to watch the adverts and then the AdSense, I'm also donating to the fund as well. So please don't feel you have to physically give money. Why is you working at Disney news for me? I don't know, because I always talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I worked in Florida for two years, two years. Will that setting spray hack work on sweat? BFF's outdoor wedding coming up in August. You know what? No, sweat is, sweat is a bodily function that we can't really control too much, especially coming from the face. However, do think about, like I said to someone earlier, think about how you are going to um, repair your foundation rather than fixing it and trying to settle up. Because the more we put on, the more powder, we're going to get that kind of curdled mess. Um, beauty blender or beauty sponge, a nice, really spongy one. Um, uh, Real Techniques do one that is blue light blue and it's so thin like you can literally feel your finger through it something like that a light like set not a setting spray but like a hydrating mist something like rare beauties one which also has a little bit of oil in so you're almost like reactivating your uh, makeup again and just tap it almost like you're reapplying your foundation without actually reapplying product i always talk so fast i'm so sorry when i'm on it. i always like speed through it only Botox will stop sweat, unfortunately. Exactly, yeah. I have a heart-shaped face with a very squared off jaw, and I just can't figure out how to use bronzer without looking strange. Yeah, absolutely. If your jaw is square, um, lucky you, first of all, but if that's the shape you want to correct, when you think of a heart shape, right, we think of this. So we almost want to shade in. There you go. <laughs> you almost want to shade in these areas here. Um, and don't take it the whole way across. And if your if your jaw is too square, imagine using your bronzer um, to carry on that heart shape. So can you see where I've put my bronzer like here? You can do that and stop almost like two fingers away from the corners of your mouth. Don't bring it all around here. You, it would help to deepen this area, but if you deepen this whole area, you're gonna get like that five o'clock shadow beard kind of look. If you deepen this, you're gonna sculpt the cheeks a little bit more and you're gonna lift this area. So it's gonna, it's not gonna look as intensely square. I hope that makes sense. Um, ah. Someone just says something important. Um, thank you, Alex. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hi Robert, what's your favorite experience from working as a professional makeup artist? Also any interesting celebrity experiences? Um, my favorite experience, hmm. <laughs> there's been a few, you know what? It's always, it's always with brides, like fashion's great, it's all fun. But when you do a bride and even though you've had trials with them, but like the relief um, on their face when they look in the mirror and look at their makeup after you've done it on the day. And it's kind of a relaxed, it's kind of like a, you know, a, a, a relaxing moment for them. It's just the best. And they're always so excited. And when they see the whole thing come together and realize how incredible they look, that is one of the best feelings ever. And then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hannah, for donating. Janine, thank you. Jenny, Jeannie, sorry, Christine, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. This is incredible. Mix your foundation with Inglot Duraline. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Is that for real? Because that is, would that help? Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for your donation. 
<laughs> thank you, Vanity Play. Thank you. I'll be having a good day at work. <laughs> Um, hello, I have a question about eyeliner. I have almond hooded deep, deepest eyes, deep set eyes, sorry. And whenever I try to use eyeliner in my waterline, it makes them look smaller. Yeah, so I, you want to use um, it in your waterline, but not make them look smaller. The, the only thing I can really think to almost like, like brighten and widen that would be offset it with something... Um, brighter on the inside corner so say you have like a nude eye pencil like this do i keep going in and out of focus do i have a mirror i should have a mirror right um so put on your liner but you almost want to brighten up this inside corner here like so to add some kind of like depth and dimension back to the face because if you're taking a liner the whole way on the inside um you are going to close it up, especially if you're hooded and a little bit more deep set. So I would absolutely brighten up these areas here. So in comparison, you have that lightness and that bright. This is really nice. This is really nice. Ooh. Um, And then what I would also do as well is just on maybe slightly underneath the um, lash line, follow your, what am I saying? So say you're doing your liner on the waterline, slightly along your lash line, just very lightly put in that pencil, but maybe just on the outside corner here and blend that in with a brush, just so you have like this brightness going into darkness, then you're adding more shape to it and maybe more purpose to the direction of that pencil. Because sometimes just a line can look a little bit, you know, closed up. I hope it makes sense. When I try to describe stuff, it makes sense in my mind. And putting it into motion. <laughs> um, do you have any recommendations for concealer? I don't know which one to choose. There's been maybe three concealers that have really stood out to me, but have been incredible. One of them is a KVD Good Apple concealer. I, a lot of, lot of people overhype that, and I don't like overhyped products. Because most of the time I'm like, what's the point? It isn't that great. But that one was really nice. The Rare Beauty Concealer is stunning if you want more of a lightweight concealer. And also, I have them here. Oh, the, the Wet and Wild Photo. Someone let me know. Photo Finish or Photo Focus. I can't remember. Is is a really, really nice one. And to me, it was slightly blurring. Um, what's your favorite ride at Disney, the Haunted Mansion? I got engaged in the Haunted Mansion on a backstage tour. <laughs> Robert, you're amazing. Thank you for using your platform to help women's voices be heard. I loved you before and now and adore you even more. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. And of course, um, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Who is your dream celebrity client? It changes all the time. You know who I'd really like to do makeup on? Um, Michelle Obama. <laughs> I was just, I'm like, you just talk to me and I'll do your makeup and we will be good. That pencil was from um, Colourpop. It's one of their gel, cream gel liners, which I really like anyway. Um, and this is a shade Honey, Honey Dude? What does that mean? Honey Dude. But if you can get the set, they're really, really nice. I have a discount code. It's Robert10. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's 10% off. Do you have any suggestions on how to set your face with dry skin? I can't powder. Also, just love you and your content. Thank you so much, Samantha. Samantha, have you tried a mineral-based powder, though? Um, because mineral powders on dry skin go on a dream. So if you did want to use a powder, a mineral-based powder would be really, really good. Um, other than that, hydration to help set. I know it sounds really weird, but a hydrating mist, not a setting spray, a hydrating mist would be really, really nice. You're absolutely great. Thanks for the bronzer hack, of course. Question, when I wear liquid lipstick after a while, it looks like a cut off in a sharp line inside of my lips. Yeah, you know what? There's no real way to, to stop that because it's moisture, uh, which sits on your lip here and it's going to be wet. So it's like trying to put um, makeup on top of a wet surface. It doesn't really do so well. The only thing I can really suggest is... Um, to take a lip pencil of a similar shade or even your lip color and take it as far in as you can. The lip pencil will act like a dry base for anything. And this is good for, to make any product last on the lips, where, wherever it is. Um, so almost like dry it out and then um, quickly put um, 
the pencil inside and on your whole lip and that will create more of a waterproof water resistant base for your lipstick yeah hi roya hi again <laughs> how do i keep from seeing my false lashes when I apply them is about the angle. So for anyone who might not know, you know, what, what does that mean? Sometimes you can see the dip, the curve in your lash when you're wearing false lashes. When you're applying your lashes, you almost need to tip them. So if this is the lash, oh, I have, where's the lash? I'm so untidy, I just have a lash sitting on the table. So a lot of us come in at this angle, like this, the pot on lashes. To lift them and to not see that, you want to come in this way. So you want to come in up like this and really use your hands to twist. Drop the middle in. It doesn't have glue on, but hopefully you'll get what I mean. Oh no, it doesn't work out glue. But can you see when I drop the middle in from this angle, it's raised up a little bit more. So really twist that hand round and back like this. Um start a petition to make that happen yeah start a petition <laughs> when i put concealer on it clings to it and when i powder under my eyes uh, the coverage is gone and it goes scaly looking yeah but i have to say it I, it literally looks like i have no concealer so so dry have you just tried straight up hydrating under the eyes before like an oil um not too much a tiny 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 bit like an oil that um and, and tap into the under eyes until it's like completely gone even tap away any excess hydration is the key to keeping your concealer looking amazing how are your teeth so white share your secrets thank you i have to order crest whitening strips from the us that's the only thing i've used Jessica, oh please, not you too. Many makeup lovers like me are celebrating the end of the murder of babies in many states. I beg you to reconsider your views. Everyone watching this hasn't been aborted. Jessica, with all due respect, fuck off. <laughs> you can literally fuck off. What do you want? You're getting what you want in life, so leave everyone else alone and let us fix your mess. Thank you. Bye. Um... Am I right though? Like, like, what do you want? You've got what you want. Why are you coming on to people trying to fix your fucking shit? You've got it. Go away. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, makeup. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you for your donations. Thank you. Uh, Laura, great point. Just want to remind everyone that everyone is entitled to their own personal beliefs. However, you do not have to force your beliefs on others. And that's the whole point of having a choice. Yeah, you don't need to force your beliefs on anyone. And this isn't forcing beliefs on I'm doing what I want to do. And you are doing what you want to by donating. Yeah. Can't donate, can't donate right now due to funds, but I'll be watching every single ad. Leela, that's all you have to do. You don't physically have to give any money at all. All you have to do is watch the adverts and I'm donating for AdSense as well. I'm good. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> good foundations for oily T-zones. That's a hard one. You know, the only foundation, and I always talk about the Lisa Eldridge Foundation, but that is one of the only ones that I've put on and I, I didn't do anything special and it really lasted a long time on my face. You know what was great as well? The Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. And I think as oily people, we tend to stay away from it. But I wore one with a um, mattifying sunscreen underneath. Oil-free. Oil-free for ages. It was great. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. I have a question. Is there a way I can stop my eyes from watering when I go outside and it's windy? It's only ever it only ever seems to happen when I'm wearing makeup. I know exactly what you mean, Charlotte. And no, there is there isn't really a way. There's a way to fix it though. Um, but it involves carrying around like a gel-based eye pencil with you, like the ones from ColourPop or who else does them? 
Um, I don't know why I'm looking over there. All my pencils are here. Colourpop, a beauty creations as well, but the more like gel eye pencils, you can use like a flesh tone and fill in that gap where the water, dry it, fill in that gap where the water's come off and then go on top again. But you need something that's going to sit on top of a wet base or like a dried out base. It's almost impossible. Have you ever tried to put makeup on top of your brows when you just have them waxed and that difficultness? It's, yeah. Alina, Robert, you're my favorite YouTuber. Love you. Thank you so much. Can you, ah, where's it going? Can you please tell me how to make my makeup look dewy? I have dry skin and don't want to look dry at my wedding. Oh, congratulations on your wedding. That's always exciting. Highlighter. So, oh, liquid highlighter, not a powder. So take any liquid highlighter, whatever you want. And when you've done your foundation before anything else, sit in front of a window or in front of a light. And like I always say, look for the, you see how this area catches light? Apply a few dots there. This catches light too. This catches light. This catches light. What else? This bit, that bit. Maybe don't do that because that, that looks like sweat. Um, but it'll look great on your wedding day, especially for pictures. And then, actually, even just with your fingers, just tap, follow, follow where that light is sitting. Follow, follow where the light takes you. Even here, tap, and just keep tapping and working that in. And what that's going to do is give you, so I'm just going to tap it away because I don't have time to. What that's going to do is give you a really nice, like natural glow because it's literally where the light is catching your skin. That's good advice for anyone in with highlight in general, but especially on your wedding day when maybe you, you need that little bit of extra help, it's going to look like your skin is just healthy and catching light because it's where makeup would actually sit the makeup chair how are you looks so amazing what do you have in your skin sorry if you already said it i have a mix of everything so i mix together a rare beauty um uh what's it what's it called again i literally just said it beauty balm tinted moisturizer i have my lisa eldridge foundation i have another foundation down there because i got a slight tan and none of my foundation suited me so i've been mixing lows together and i can't even remember the concoction <laughs> thank you Bo. what's the liquid highlighter this is lisa eldridge um the seamless skin really beautiful one of my favorites rare beauties um highlighters one of my favorites as well really really stunning this always looks super metallic but actually when it's on the skin it just looks like incredibly like natural skin eyebrow eyebrow crisis no how can i fix the cowlick on my eyebrows side note just listen to a double cleanse brow episode and can't stop saying eyebrows <laughs> the cowlick on your eyebrows is it going up it's flicking up the best thing you can do is like an eyebrow wax or or like pomade or something like that um this one is from sheen not sheen as in she sheen but sheen they do like the water activated liners as well this one you can tell i've used quite a lot but if you want your brows to stay in place this is the best thing to use you don't even have to use it on the whole brow you can grab like a eyebrow brush and literally where do i have one nearby i think i have a disposable one but obviously you can use one you can just clean over and over again and obviously do what you need to do like this. And then with like the tip of this, you can literally like correct the direction of that one hair. Like say I wanted this just to stick up for some reason. See? So you can literally just correct it and push it down and that will keep that cowlick brow <laughs> under control. <laughs> Rachel, freedom means you're given the right to choose and decide what you want to do, not the government making a choice for you. Very well said. What's a good pore filling primer? The e.l.f. one doesn't work for me. Oh, I love the, the e.l.f. one. Um, You know what? The pore professional is a good one. I just don't really like the way it sits for oilier skins. So you have, if you have a combination or normal or anything like that, then um, that's a good one. Laura, did you wear black on your sunny holiday? Hope you guys had a lovely time. We had a great time. Thank you. And yes, I wore 100% black 100% of the time. <laughs> I never wear any other color. Thank you so much for stream. How does one select a contour shade? My skin is like a light neutral beige, but with an olive undertone. Yeah, any help? Yeah, I, I say this a lot, so sorry for repetitiveness. If you have a good nude eyeshadow palette, 
there is going to be a good contour shade in there. What a lot of brands do with contour is they re-release bronzers and, and they don't quite work out as a good contour. Eyeshadow palettes have very cold eyeshadow tones, eye tones, and they are the best contours. If you are quite fair and olive, look at the shades and look about you might not even think would look good on the skin. There might be a pink that looks amazing as a contour, you know? Not a bright pink, I mean like a neutral pink, and they come out like slightly different. So try your eyeshadow palettes. There will be a contour in there that works. Megan, thank you for doing this, Robert. As someone in the US, it's so comforting to see people from other countries supporting a cause. Of course, absolutely. And I think as well, I said this on my um my live with my members. Let me just refocus on my face. Um people always are like, it's not your country, like mind your own business. It is a if this is the world, there are people in your country. I donate to charities it, for people in other countries, animals in other countries. We're not just gonna stick to our own countries and be like, you know what, it's none of my business. It's ridiculous. And also my audience are American. My audience are American women. You know, if I can help in any and give back in any way, of course I'm I'm going to. What do you think of a by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer? Any good for dry skin? Or any recommendation for concealers for dry skin? Yes, absolutely. That by Terry whole range, the hyaluronic Perfect. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Robert, when doing eyeliner on someone else, pencil or liquid or felt pen, if you are doing it on someone else, I would always say pencil and liquid for hygiene reasons. I'll get rid of a felt pen. A liquid, you can always tap out onto a palette and use a brush. A pencil, you can sharpen, sanitize, sharpen, sanitize, and then use that. Um, yeah, much more hygienic that way. We are global citizens, not just citizens of, of our own countries. Thank you so much for that, Robert. Absolutely, Samantha. That's exactly it. <laughs> Jackie, she is. Jackie really is. Question, what is the best mascara to pur purchase on a low budget? UK. You know what, Sarah? Are you, everyone went on about this forever, and I never tried it. The Essence Lash Princess, this one. Incredible. It's so good. This brush it looks really basic, but it was really, really, really nice. So that's one I would go for for a, a low budget mascara. The Elf, ah, oh, Big Mood mascara. In, is it called Big Mood? Incredible. Really, really nice as well. Okay, but what oil for under the eyes, Robert? I'm afraid it will break up the concealer. Yeah, no, you do have to be careful because you don't use too much. Beauty Bakery do a really, really nice priming oil. I think Elf do one as well. But what you want to do is you want to take like the smallest... Oh my God, I thought I was missing a the finger there. And I was like, no! Um, <laughs> smallest amount of oil and almost like tap it between your two fingers like this. Tiniest, tiniest amount. And just keep pressing and tapping under the eyes. Pressing and tapping. You don't want to see it. Just keep going. Leave it for a few minutes. Tap away any excess if you see it sitting on top of the skin. And you'll be good. It shouldn't break down your, um, it shouldn't break down your makeup at all. Uh, what's the, uh, oh, turn it already. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, I can't, I don't know how to science it, Kathy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is your opinion on the About Face liquid eye paints? I love to try them, but I'm scared. I love them. I did a, um, a review on, um... oh no, I know it's not all American women, um, salt, salt man. <laughs> um, but, but my audience is 60% American. That's what I meant, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, About Face. I did a review on their brand and I really, really liked it. And also the ones that come in the little foil things, stunning. Really, really nice. Really nice. Thank you for your donations, everyone. 2.3 thousand. Question, eye makeup and glasses. How? Please and thank you. The trick to eye makeup and glasses is highlighting the areas that are shadowed by your glasses. So you can do anything, anything, Excuse me, anything. Um, thank you so much. Live, 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 man. I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce anything. I'm dyslexic, forgive me. Um, yeah, so highlight those areas. So don't shadow everything too much. One, because it just looks like a shadow everywhere, but sometimes glasses can also highlight areas so or make them bigger. So make sure that you are um, highlight, adding brightness to the areas as well. Question, is there a way to use 
I uh, mascara transferring. I use Sigma primer and waterproof mascara, but it still transfers below my eyes. You know, my my answer for that would have been the Sigma eye primer and then the waterproof mascara. Um, the only other thing I can think of, maybe your concealer might be breaking down. Do you wear concealer, Kathy? That could be it. It could be breaking down. Yeah. Question, which highlighter for older skin, cream or powder? Love you. Thank you, Rhea. Um, be careful creams if you have fine lines because it can sit in fine lines and texture. For example, on me, I have quite textured cheeks, so I tend to shy away from too much cream on the cheeks, although you can use a cream. Powder might be nicer if you do have like fine lines around this area here, but I do love the way cream looks more natural on the skin, so I would also... I would say cream, <laughs> but do make sure you're pressing it in and um, um, getting it, making it, making sure it's really part of the skin, you know? Do you happen to have a favorite orange or coral blush? Sorry if you have already mentioned this. I haven't. Um, coral, mm, mm, orange, so two, there is the Patrick Tar, the one that comes in the, um, it has the cream and then the powder. If you want something more, um, let's say like budget friendly, the Elf Putty Primers, there's one orange in there, which is really nice. Um, oh, you said powder. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Did you say powder? No, you didn't. Okay. Um, or um, Rude, Rude Cosmetics, R-U-D-E, -R do this really nice ombre orange blush and it is beautiful. And it, it fades into light. So if you use the bottom half, it's more coral. Uh, thank you so much for your donation, Arthur. Thank you. Kathy, I do wear concealer. Okay, either NARS, ColourPop, or Shape Tape. Maybe that's the issue. Um, so here's the deal. What can we do to stop this from happening? Have you tried using your eye primer as a concealer or finding an eye primer that is a similar shade to your concealer? Um, that would be a good option because, or an eyeshadow stick that you can use and warm up and push because that sets more than concealer. That would be a good option to do. Of course, everyone, of course. My pleasure. What were your thoughts on Made by Mitchell? I was impressed by the blush. I've actually never used it. Yeah. Thank you for the donation, Shauna. Thank you. Sorry if I missed your donations. Thank you to everyone for donating. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, Rude Cosmetics are good. I haven't tried too much from them, but I've always been impressed by, by their stuff. Will you review Wayne Goss's latest palette? I don't think so. I, I liked... Um, all his other palettes, so I get, I like get it now. Like I know I like them. I'm trying to pull back on eyeshadow palettes because I have so many. Unless it's sent to me, I'm more than likely not going to buy it. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> um, maybe not. <laughs> have you done weddings before? Absolutely. Weddings was a whole um thing a whole period of time for me um the one thing that people forget about weddings a lot is um hair up or hair down if hair's up we need to put foundation on the ears because in pictures they're going to look extremely red um chest as well um don't go over the top remember a camera is going to pick up more than the human eye so if you have a photographer that has a flash no heavy baking no heavy powder um, make sure that you go give your lashes a good coat of mascara before your full lashes, because sometimes you see like this lighter, especially in pictures, this lighter lash that sits under your jet black um, full lash. So if you can buy a mascara, or even a waterproof one that has jet black pigmentation to it, that's a good one. Are you and Robert, I am Robert, ever going to be the face of twins on Glow Up? Please say yes. I haven't seen that. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I know what you mean. The, the two models, that's certainly a thing. Oh, God, can you imagine? Robert, would you ever consider doing home decor videos? I love the crescent moon candle holders in your usual background. Yeah, so they're, they're just behind here. This is just a curtain I pull across my normal background for my ghost story videos. 
this is the only room in my house that is decorated like this because it's my room. Um, I, <laughs> I would feel bad to take this into the other house. I'm a very, in terms of decoration, I'm very minimalist. I would rather walk into like a very cold, you know, white walls, white floor, white sofa. But this is like my little bit of, you know, that playful gothic -iness, that. <laughs> What are your makeup tips for a beach wedding? Sorry if you have already answered this. I have a, they're not much different to a normal wedding. Um, well, I mean, in terms of makeup, of course, they're much, much different. The only thing that I would suggest is when you are, uh, sunlight is gonna be different to inside light and camera lights. So make sure, this is a really random one, but make sure your highlighter, if you're using highlighter, isn't too yellow. <laughs> And you're not using anything that is too yellow because sunlight picking up yellow pigmentation from your concealer, your foundation, your highlighter is super intense and it looks obvious. It looks separate from the rest of your makeup and your skin. Sunlight can diminish some colors and pick up more. So always experiment with what you're using before and stand out in the sun if you are in the sun and make sure everything shows up. Will you ever show us your dogs? My dogs were in the, if you follow me and James on our joint channel, we try to film a, um, oh, don't worry, it's fine. Um, we try to we try to film a Valentine's Day video where we were setting our dogs up on dates. So James has two golden retrievers and I have two miniature schnauzers. But it, you know, they always say you um, shouldn't work with um, animals and children or whatever. So, um, it went really wrong, but we put up like the footage of what we had as a quick video on there. And um, it's like a Valentine's Day video or something like that. Do you still do any private makeup artist work or are you all YouTube nowadays? I have been all YouTube since the beginning of lockdown, of course, because uh, we haven't been able to do anything else. But actually YouTube has re actually really overtaken <laughs> my life. Like, of course it has. It's... um not to be too blunt, but it's the best money maker. I don't have to wake up at four in the morning to do, you know, cra crazy shoots or anything like that. But I do have a wedding next year and what that I'm doing. And yeah, I do miss it. I miss it. But yeah. Um, will you ever show us your makeup collection? The, oh, where did that go? The makeup you don't use, just love to look at. Did I do that once? I do have display makeup um, <laughs> that I do kind of use sometimes. Yeah, I will do one day. Robert, I'm a minimalist house tour in the room filled with makeup. And, uh, this room is a disgrace. It is awful. Like, if you could see what's around me now, honestly, you'd be like, how is that boy allowed to do anything beauty? And that's such a horrible room. How do you get eyeliner and mascara from transferring on the under eyes? Should I set it with something? I always say eye primer if you're not using an eye primer already. Thank you so much, Celine, for your donation. Thank you. Um, but if that isn't working, then um, you can set eyeliner even in the eye with powder. It's not recommended. It's not um, safe. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't say do it. <laughs> Um, love your videos, Robert. What's the best product that has come out this year so far, in your opinion? Wow, that's a good question. What month are we in? Tuesday. <laughs> oh, June. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. You know what it is? I And I always love this. I always say Lisa Elgis because Lisa Elgis products have like changed my makeup routine. But the um, Makeup by Narrow per Perfecting Lip Scrub, this is incredible. I got so tired of those sugar lip scrubs that don't do fucking, they don't do anything. It was too big. This one always, um, it's, it's almost fine. I remember way back in the days, Benefit used to do this incredible lip scrub and it was almost like sand in like a balm. This is almost like that, but really gentle on the lip. The Makeup by Marrow Lip Perfecting Scrub. <laughs> um, do you have any future plans on coming to the US to give a makeup to give makeup classes or reunion? Plans to come to the US? Yes. Um, what I'm going to do there? Don't know. I would love to, though. I would absolutely love to. 
Uh, what are your favorite eyeshadow primers? The Rare Beauty one, I have them all here. And I just moved, where's my Sigma one? The Rare Beauty one. We only do one and the Sigma um, eye primer. Happy month of Tuesday. I know, I don't know what happened there. I feel like a wet and wild rep, but if you're looking for a good light, but good working face primer, get their photo focus face primer and give it a try. It's inexpensive, so it's worth trying. I believe you. I believe that. Thank you, Sean, enough for your um, donation. Thank you. Hey, Robert, general thoughts on downward pointing liner. Love you so, so much from Detroit, Michigan. Cami, thank you. Listen, downward, downward pointing liner haunts me because way back in the day, when you worked for Mac, you had to pass different certifications. I don't know if they still do it. And one of mine, the fashion cert, which mean, meant that you can then go on to do like fashion week and stuff like that, was a downward pointing liner. And because I was so used to flicking up, I couldn't get the downward points level. I got it eventually, but it took me a few tries. So it haunts me, but I do really, I like the way it looks. I think it's really, really cute. Um, are you going to review the new Nimra products? I haven't seen them yet. Somebody mentioned a while back that um, um, she they've released new products. So I'll have a look at them. Hi, Robert. I have eczema on my eyes and I struggle with eyeshadows drying them out. Yeah. Is there any recommend? Is oh, sorry. Is there anything you would recommend that wouldn't dry them out? Lots of love, Grace. Hey, Grace. Um, hmm, eczema. I, maybe a more silicone-based eye primer would work first. So something like the Urban Decay's Priming Potions, which is more slippery. I don't know if it's silicone-based. I don't know why I said that. But it feels like it is. It's more smooth and slippery. Anti-aging eye primers would be great as a base, first of all. Um, and then something like um, mineral, mineral eyeshadows. Any mineral powder is great for dry skin. Uh, hey, Robert, do you ever have makeup block where you really want to do your face, but then you look at your arsenal and consider it such a chore? I used to love doing it, and now quarantine made me so lazy. Absolutely. 100%. So on my desk here, I have my mascaras and eye pencils and all my favorite products. My ones that I use all the time are right next to me here, and my brushes are in front of me. And then on the other side of the room, there are shelves around with all the other products on. So the one that I usually head to is my eyeshadow palette shelf, and then I'm kind of like this to the rest. Um, because at the moment it's too much. I haven't, I moved house in February, and I actually haven't been through the whole thing yet to kind of um, fix it. How do you feel about color correcting? My under eye tends to look blue or gray, or gray even after concealer. Color correcting is good, but I do feel that um, brands have kind of made it too, um, too much of a thing. You don't need to color correct as intensely as they make you, if that makes sense, or they want you to. So you don't always have to use a pure orange. It can be a peach. It can be a peachy tone concealer, you know? It can be a tiny, tiny hint of a um, red. It doesn't have to be as intense. I think we think of color correcting as quite a bad thing. Maybe something that's too much, but it, it doesn't have to be. I've been too sick to really do makeup on myself, but I still love seeing it and learning about it. Demonic boobs. I love that name. I hope you get better soon. Would you do makeup? Would you do a makeup decluttering video? I love to watch them. Yeah, I did my um, palettes once, but I do need to do the whole room. And I, as much as I love ColourPop, they send me something new every week, and I have a ColourPop shelf that I'm sure I need to go through because I doubt they sell everything that's still on that shelf still. Um, and I'm sure they've gone out of date on some things. Favorite Korean makeup brand, Free CE, Free Concept Eyes. I love them. Their, pin, their pinch pots are really good. Their cushion blushes, beautiful. And their cushion highlighters. Oh my God. The ones with a little cushion, the highlighters, oh, stunning. Final verdict on the Danessa Merrick's balm for oily skin. Christina, love it. Really, really like it. Um, I uh, Be careful what tools you use. And don't do too much movement, <laughs> if that makes sense. 
apply it like you're applying a very expensive product you know take care when applying it what i found with it is too much movement too much blending made it a little bit more difficult to use but i for dry skin it's a breakthrough yeah Hey, Ana Lopez. Thank you so much. I'm from Mexico. Uh, thank you for all your makeup tips. My poor-ish skills are better since started watching you. Have you tried any Mexican makeup brands? I haven't, but I would love to. If you have any recommendations, then you can um, send them to me on Instagram um, or Twitter, wherever. I've tried, um, like, um, Latina-owned brands, which are great. But if there's brands from, from Mexico, I would love to try them. Yeah. Uh, have you tried Hourglass Stick Foundation? I kind of went off Hourglass, so I haven't tried anything uh, from them for a really, really long time. Would you ever do a random video going to a real haunted house? 100% yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Robert, what is the one product that you should have discarded but still use? I, still have, I have some eyeshadow that is probably very expired. Let me tell you, there are some products that I will never get rid of in as long as I am alive. There are some eyeshadow palettes I have. There is my, um, my from Besame, my Sleeping Beauty palette, which I'm sure is out of date now, but it's the book one with all the things in. Um, I have some Pat McGrath glosses, which I shouldn't be using still. <laughs> do they smell like Play-Doh? Yes, they do. Do they still look fine? Yeah. Question, if you could only use one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would have to be generic, a brow pencil, a brow pencil. Because I feel like if your brows are framed and done, then you don't have to worry too much. Now I'm like, oh, but what else? Brighton house, haunted house or Brighton do a haunted, oh, hi Maggie. Please do a makeup review inside a haunted house. That would be fun. I would love to. I, I love if any of you saw um my James's joint channel again on Halloween. We went to this like huge, huge old house and we did a makeup and then some other like Halloween bits. It was really fun. How are my puppies doing? Thank you for asking. They're they're really, really well. They're very um tired this week, <laughs> but they're um they're beautiful. They're amazing. And my the younger one now has started to sleep in in the mornings. It's great. Sometimes I get to sleep till eight o'clock. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Have you reviewed Blend Blend Bunny Cosmetics yet, palettes yet, Robert? They are so good. No, but I have them and I love them. But I haven't done an official review, but I, I really, really like them. Uh, did they go with you on vacation? No, they didn't. So my... My dogs, we left at a, um, <laughs> people who don't have dogs aren't going to understand. <laughs> um, we left them at a, like a doggy country club. When we were, when we knew we were going to go away, right? Um, I looked into every single dog care place, no kennels in the area and beyond. Like we drive an hour and a half to get to the place that I chose because of the security, because they're not locked in a room all day. They get to play with other dogs, the one-to-one -one care, there are webcams so I can watch them in their room. Um, the, just everything about this place. I was like, this is the only place I want my dogs to be left. Um, Cause I know they're secure. So leading up to this holiday and I, I'm going to Florida to Disney World in October for two weeks. Um, we left them for a weekend um, at this place. Um, we didn't go anywhere um, and just saw how they got on with it, how they settled in, if they enjoyed it and all that kind of stuff. And they were absolutely fine. Left them for a week, loved it, absolutely fine. And then we're going away for two weeks. And I feel extremely comfortable leaving them there and, and the care they have as well. Am I going to try Nimia? No, so many people have asked me, so I, I probably will. Even though I'm trying not to buy any more lip products because I have so much stuff. I would never leave my dog in kennels. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't bear it. I couldn't ever thought that. And they're such human attention seeking dogs. Human attention? Human, atten human attention seeking dogs. You know what I mean? They they crave human attention. So to, to think of them just locked in a kennel just doesn't suit me in my mind. <laughs> 
Robert, just so you know, I got to you and your twin brothers. I seriously almost peed my pants. You doing your sexy cat look. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I filmed a video where I did, you know, like that look everyone does on Halloween. It's like sexy cat. We, I sat in the, a dark room doing my makeup while I was being scared of shit out of basically. Have you ever tried mineral fusion? No, I've never heard of mineral fusion. You're a good dog owner. Thank you. I'm, I'm a paranoid dog owner and I'm one of those people that dog trainers would hate because my dogs are my babies. I would say children, but they're not human, but I would, uh, they're, I'm never going to have kids. So I would treat them like, you know, my own thing. <laughs> Yeah, kennels are terrible. Much better with pet sitters. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. This place was a kind of, um, it's not a mix because it's not a kennel. Then There's a TV in their room, you know, and they, they have like a, a bed and all this kind of stuff. When is James ruin it, ruining you into a princess again? We just filmed something yesterday. It's not a princess, but it is a character. So we do have a transformation coming soon. What are your plans for this evening? Well, it is nearly seven o'clock. So I think I'm just going to watch TV. We're on, what housewives are we on? We've catched up with Atlanta, Beverly Hills. We were watching Miami, but I didn't think we stopped watching it for a while. Has anyone ever watched um, Hacks about the comedian? It's so good. If you haven't watched Hacks, watch it season one and two. Really good. Robert, how do you feel about people approaching you in public? And do you like hugs? I... Love it, first of all. I, I think it's really great. Me and James were at this, um, like, a haunted house thing last Halloween, and someone ran up to us screaming and hugged us, and it it was, it was like we'd known them forever. It was really, really nice. Um, and we get, when we go to London especially, we get recognised all the time. I was recognised on my holiday. I really don't mind it. Here's the deal, and I know people, like, everyone needs their privacy, but... It's, it's a very rare situation that we're in that we get to have this job. And it's literally because people are watching our content that we get to have this job. So if somebody wants to come up and say hi and hug us, fine. Like, absolutely more than welcome. I don't mind it at all. I'm a very um, huggy person. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Question, will you be doing any historically accurate videos on a twin channel? Yes, we filmed one yesterday, so it's coming up. Robert, how do you get liquid highlighter to work well? Every time I use one, it goes patchy or it lifts the base no matter what I use to apply. Any tips would be appreciated, P.S. I love you. Thank you so much, Jolene. One thing I learned um, from, and I hate to say it, from TikTok, actually, but from an amazing artist on TikTok, is she, and I was in one of my reaction videos, she put the highlighter on this part of her hand and she got a beauty blender and, like, rolled it onto the highlighter and then rolled it onto her skin. And I tried it in the video and it looks stunning. And that way you're not patting on the skin, you're not mixing it in with foundation. I think I'm going to burp. I didn't. And it just looks flawless. So if you have a beauty sponge, it doesn't have to be a beauty blender, you like the brand, that will be a really good way almost rolling on. Come to Alaska. I, you do not know how much I want to go to Alaska, honestly. <laughs> That's really weird, but I do want to go to Alaska. Do you have any advice for the eyelashes that goes down and straight? Thank you. If I'm completely honest, no. I, I have lashes that go down and straight. They, they were permed a while back, so they're a little bit um, thingy. But to be honest with you, not really. Just make sure you're getting to the base of those lashes. If you can get yourself one of those brushes that you can just stick right in and push up, um, yeah, that helps, but not completely. Sorry. I just like to be realistic. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, what was that? Question, favorite makeup by Maru purchase? Well, I usually get PR from them. So the only thing I've ever purchased this, purchased this, purchased was, where's it gone? The new one, the bronzer. Beautiful. I love it. I'm wearing it now. And it, it just looks like skin. It doesn't look like bronzer. It looks like healthy, healthy. Um, yes. 2,800. Thank you, everyone. How many twin videos do you film in one go? We film um, two or three, no, three or four in a day. K Popelka, this is disgusting. <laughs> if you don't like it, go away. Like, why are you here? Why are you spending your time here? And actually by watching and commenting, you're donating to this. So thank you. 
My cousin got lash extensions. She has straight lashes and has helped, but of course it's pricey. Yeah, and the upkeep for lash extensions, too much. What was that? Ulta makes, Ulta makes a dupe for Becca un, underage, bright, underage brightener. What is that? The names people come up with. Under eye. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for correcting that. <laughs> Robert, well done flipping off. This will be my new screen saver somewhere. <laughs> What's the best sunscreen to wear under makeup? Um, Beth, hi. Um, the Shiseido, where is it? Oh, I took it away with me and I have I haven't unpacked properly yet, even though it's been a week. Um, Shiseido, fuck, what's it called? It's in a white thing and it's oil absorbing SPF 30. Or I tried this one today and it's been beautiful. The Hello Sunday, the matte one. Hello Sunday for um, sunscreen, stunning. They also do a serum one, which is this one. It is really, really lightweight, SPF 50, extremely, almost like fluid, almost water-like, really, really nice. Uh, no question, just want to say you're amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've learned so much from you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you for, oh, I can't remember, member, Ellen. I'll see you in our chats. Kate, I have a stupid work meeting, so I have to go. Call in sick. No, don't work. Go to work. <laughs> it's good to see you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I recommend watching Lab Muffin Beauty Science video response to that. Super informative. Lab Muffin Beauty Science for anything. Incredible. Um, Robert, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. Why does yellowish color corrector work better under my eyes than peach? So when we think about... Um, color under the eye we always think it's going to be like a bluey purple tone but some people do have like that depth of redness to it as well yellow cancels out redness just as much as green does for some reason color theory is crazy and, and when it comes to makeup but yellow is great at covering red so if you do have more of a ready tone it can look kind of um purpley sometimes but if it's more red it's gonna um yeah it's gonna help if it works, it works, right? Just keep doing what you need to do. Robert, do you ever go to Wimbledon? You didn't say my name. I don't know why I said it like that. Do you ever go to Wimbledon? I'm watching it, watching you. I'm watching it and you at the same time. I don't like sports. Oh, I find sports so boring. Yeah. Wim Wimbledon's calming though. I remember like sleeping to Wimbledon. <laughs> Claire, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Imo, is that donated? Are those dogs in your? That's so cute. Thank you so much for your donation. Anonymous donations. Thank you so so much. Thoughts on the makeup by Mario Liquid lipsticks? I haven't tried them yet, but if there's anything like um, uh, the um, or his other lip products, then that's great. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry about my um, email notifications. I don't know how to turn them off. I could just put my volume down. Actually, I don't need to hear myself. Um, say, oh, where'd I go? Sorry, I deleted my previous comment because I sent it without finishing it. Oh, that's okay. I said, you're amazing and such an inspiration. Keep being the humble, beautiful person. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, any recommendations for a full coverage foundation for mixed skin? Yes. Um, one that actually has a good range and depth of colors is the Ama Beauty. Um, it's spelled like Uoma, but it's Ama Beauty. Their um, just regular foundation is really, really good. Their, it's good full coverage. It looks good on the skin, like natural, it doesn't look cakey, anything like that. And they have a really, really good um, range of shades as well. Siobhan, thank you so much for your donation. Sally, thank you so much. We're almost at 3,000. That's amazing. Robert, what is the best red lipstick and not matte? Um, I always say Lisa Eldridge, her velvet lipsticks are really nice. Any velvet finish you can get isn't matte um, and it isn't too glossy either. So it really stays put. Ciate do some really nice lipsticks as well. Um, who else? Let me look at my lips. Oh, it's too far away. I can't see. Yes, that's all I can think of off the top of my head where I've, where I've been like blown away by their products. Lynn, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. 
Megan, question, do you have any tips for red cheeks? Yes, yellow tone concealer is really good. If you can find a yellow tone concealer, no matter what your skin undertone, that is almost level with your um, uh, tone and foundation, use that first in your cheeks and then pat your foundation on top and do the rest of your foundation. Yellow is great at cancelling out red or neutralizing red, I should say. Emily, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you. Sorry if I'm missing people as well. It's, um, I don't know what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. Robert, what about the Makeup Forever Foundation? The new one, the HD one? I personally didn't like it, but for me, for me, but it'll be incredible um, for weddings, humid countries, food on my mouth, no, humid countries, somewhere that's hot and sweaty because it's dry almost and quite tight feeling on a face. Um, yeah, I have to go to therapy, but I love you. Thank you, Amy. Enjoy, ther enjoy therapy. Good for you for going. 3,000. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm going to try, let's try and get to five. Whatever we raise today, I'm going to personally match it myself. So we can get to five. I will also donate 5,000 and we can get to $10,000 and donate that as well. That would be amazing. Robert, have you tried the Milani color? Does it say color? I missed it. Color fetish lipstick. I haven't tried Milani. I'm trying to think, have I tried their blush? I can't remember. I haven't tried their products, but people are always saying, try Milani and I keep forgetting to. I feel like it's hard to get like up to date products on um, for Milani in the UK. Am I wrong? If somebody's in the UK, let me know. How can you reshape brows? Oh, after years of plucking the same way. It's so diff it is so difficult. I don't know if there is truly a way to do that. That might be a good question for like, um, a technician. <laughs> hey, Robert, I'm a winter baby, so I struggle in summer. Do you have any recommendations for tinted moisturizer? I find foundation too heavy in the heat. Yes, absolutely. The um, Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer is one that I've been really, really loving on my oily skin in the heat. Let's refocus on me. Um, and then the Elf, uh, the Elf Tinted Moisturizer is really good as well. Um, uh, ma, 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 ma. If you don't mind, if you want something a little bit heavier, the Urban Decay, what was it called? In the tube, in the blue tube. Oh, what is that called? I think I had to throw it away because they were expired. Really, really nice as well. But well, I don't think that's tinted moisturizer. I just think it's a really lightweight foundation. Thank you so much, Diana, for your um, donation. Anonymous, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was going to um, donate, but it isn't allowed in my country. You're a beautiful person inside and out. Thank you so much. Listen, if you don't have to physically donate money, if you want to... Oh, Milani's in Boots? Is it really, Maggie? I honestly don't go to Boots <laughs> often. Um, if, if you just watch this video, even if you watch it tomorrow, you can, like, leave now, watch it tomorrow. If you just watch the adverts, I'll be donating AdSense as well. Um, so, yeah. You're, you're donating just by watching. You don't have to physically give any any money. Um, thank you so much, Stephanie, Mary. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you so much. Um, what what a light you are in the dark time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The highlight to the show. Thank you, Lindsay. That's so cute. Thank you. Question, would you go back to James's haunted bedroom? He stayed in a while while he was at uni. Realistic answer, no, because the house has now been knocked down. But like in theory, if it was possible, no. <laughs> no. Robert, do you have a mindless phone game you like? I recommend Water Sort Puzzle. Not really mindless, but I really love June's Journey and the Redecor ones. I've actually done adverts for them because I liked them so much, but Disney have just launched their, what's their game called they just launched? Um, uh, Disney Multiverse? No, Mirrorverse is, is a really good one. It's not like mindless, but you just have to tap the button for ages. <laughs> But that redecor one where you like redecorate a room based to a theme is really good. <laughs> Thank you, vanity plates. Oh. Um, sorry, Rob, what are you, oh, what are your tips for getting foundation to stay while in a hundred degree humid weather? That's a difficult one because it's something I actually had trouble with 
um, when I lived in a humid um, place. And it was kind of difficult. Um, I, I, to be honest with you, realistically, there isn't much you can do because humidity and sweat is something we can't control too much. Think about retouching your foundation. If you can get a little travel hydration mist, not a setting spray, hydration mist, small little sponge, you can just tap and renew that foundation when it gets a bit separated. Yeah. Um, thoughts on makeup by Maro, new soft sculpt bronzer. Love it. I think it's beautiful. Where's your favorite place to go on holiday? Siobhan, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I'm I'm one of those people. It's Disney World in Florida. It's where I met my fiance. It's where we've had like the best, amazing two years where we really got to know each other. So it has a special place in, in my heart. Question, I'm a gay man from the UK. Do you have any advice on feeling safe, showing affection to my partner in public? That's a really difficult one because you never know who you're gonna be around and as much as we should feel free and happy to do whatever we want to do and express you know, our love for whoever we are in love with, it can be unfortunately still potentially dangerous in some places. Where I am, I would feel comfortable. I'm not a public display of affection person um, to anyone. So it's not something I, I personally, um, what's the word, um, worry about. But um, to be honest, I, I, I don't have any advice for that because to, to, I would be, cautious but at the same time do whatever the hell you want you know and um, but i know especially in the uk there are some areas that are i think as british people anyway we are quite reserved so in terms of if somebody did see that out in public i doubt anyone would say anything maybe you'll just get a a glance i'm sorry you feel that way though it is shitty what about cryoland setting spray robert it's great it's really great. That was one product I saw on TikTok where everyone was making a big deal out of it, where I was like, yeah, it's it's, it's good. I used to use that for tattoo coverage if it is to keep the product on. Have you heard of a game House Flipper? You get to clean up houses and redecorate them and sell them. It's the best. No, but I am downloading that as soon as I come off this. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Huge shout out to you. Oh, thank you. I worked in a doggy daycare for four years and people would come in and see the place and then leave their dogs for weeks. The dogs would have such a bad time. Oh no. That's horrible. My dogs go to a daycare during the day for a few hours. We really wanted to. So, um, so Frankie, we got during lockdown and Winnie we've had for years and she was so lucky growing up she got to play with loads of dogs we would go and meet loads of people in the field and they would all run around and play together but Frankie never got that interaction with any other dog apart from Winnie and then my brother's dog so we really wanted him to interact with other dogs so he goes, goes to a daycare for a few hours twice a week um just for the um socializing aspect as well thoughts on Daniel Sadler watercolor blush I don't know what that is one second let me Daniel or Danielle? Danielle. Sorry, I'm just looking something up. I'm not on my phone. Why well, I am on my phone, but I'm not like, you know. I've never heard of it. Is it like how it sounds? Like, is it? Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks beautiful though. Wow. I'm going to keep it up so I can do a bit of shopping afterwards. Thank you so much, Lisa. Good to see you. Thanks for donating. Thank you, Stephanie, as well. Thank you. Hey, any advice for almost 50, for almost 50 women who wear only eyeliner and mascara? My advice would be in makeup in general, wear whatever you want. Just, um, I think it's weird when people are like, don't wear glitter because you're over 40. I think that's a weird one. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Amy. Amy. Um, <laughs> um, just just make sure you're getting some brightness to the skin and some glow to the skin. That's the only thing I would say. Question, though, unrelated to makeup. No worries. What made you choose miniature schnauzers? Well, so when I when we first got <laughs> Winnie, who was my first miniature schnauzer, Apparently they were like well behaved. <laughs> we basically looked at the profile of the dog, its characteristics, how it would fit in with our lives, 
um, if we thought we could handle that kind of dog, um, how it is around children, or, you know, everything you can look into that to fit, not that we have children, but you know, and miniature schnauzers were just it. <laughs> I don't know where I read it that they were quiet because they're really not. But I'm so happy we got a miniature schnauzer because I just love them. I love their faces. I love their temperaments. I love how they are, even though they're loud sometimes. They're just, they're just the best. Thank you so much, Nat. Thank you for your donation. Three point four thousand. Yeah, exactly. It's the best way to choose. What other breed dog would you get? Mm. That's a difficult one because I've seen other dogs and um, <laughs> I've seen other dogs. I've seen other dogs like the way they behave sometimes. And I wouldn't get a huge dog because I think they they need so much attention and so much exercise and all this kind of stuff. I would be worried that my garden wasn't big enough or my house wasn't big enough, you know. Um, so I would get a smaller one, not like a chihuahua or a pug, anything like that. Um I don't know. That's a difficult question. I I think every dog is cute. So I guess, do I like cats? I don't like cats. Now, here's why, though, because I think they're extremely intelligent and they can tell I'm scared of them and they um, they make the most out of it and hit me. I was punched in the face by a cat. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's real. I was punched in the face by a cat. <laughs> Please remember, it's not just women, but all people who have a uterus are in danger here. Absolutely. 100%. What's your favorite curse word? The C word. But I actually had a message from someone. Because I think feel like in the UK, we say the C word a lot. As sometimes a sense of, of like, you know, friendliness. Oh, you're such a, you know. And I someone messaging was like, just a heads up. Like, I know a lot of American people watch you, but it's really, really offensive here in the US. So I try not to say it. I think my reply was, I don't care, but I try not to say it as much. Good question. Yeah. <laughs> Cats are dream crushes. <laughs> Your answer for not liking cats. It's true. So here's the story, right? I was... Um, at my parents and my older brother had moved had moved in there for a while and had a cat with him and um i was a little bit scared of it and then i was sitting down i think i was playing the sims you know and everyone was in bed and i was in on the sofa just thinking and a cat was next to me and i was stroking it, it was like, i was like oh we're bonding finally i was like okay i'm gonna go to bed now you do your cat thing and walk around whatever got up, walked out, then the cat followed me, and I was like, oh, this is really cute, maybe it's going to sleep in my bed, and we can have, like, nice little snuggles, just bit me, just bit me on my, on, what's the bit between your foot and your shin, ankle, right, just, I, was, I didn't fucking, I didn't step on it, I didn't do any, it just ran up and bit me, and then it's that same cat that punched me in the face. Lash cocaine? What is lash cocaine? Wow. Thank you for donating, everyone. Thank you. Question. You hate Shrek, but what's your stand on Minions? Hate it just as much. <laughs> I hate Minions. I hate them. <laughs> my, my cat bit my brother's nipple. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. Robert, you do a great Scouse accent, by the way. You know that's a lie. <laughs> Question, what are your tips for doing purple eyeshadow looks for beginners? Choose three shades of purple, a lighter pinky purple, a deeper purple, <laughs> and like a medium tone purple. Um, cats terrify me, but they're cute. Oh yeah, I, they are cute from a distance. I love watching like cat videos and stuff like this cat is... Look how cute this cat is, whatever. Are you a Harry Potter fan? No, I am not. I used to, this is how old Harry Potter is, by the way, it bothers me, that my mum would read Harry Potter to us. We were like, what, for three years? No, I don't even know. But we're super, super young. I forget how old it is. Um, but no, I'm not really a fan. I'm not a fantasy kind of fan. <laughs> um, But, um... I took that test thing that <laughs> I took the test with um, 
um, my fiance, and um, I got um, the the green one, sliv Slytherin. Um, yeah. But it was it was really set up. It's like, what's your favorite color? And I was like, black. And it's like, you're a Slytherin. Oh no. <laughs> Did you watch Cruella? I did. Yeah, I loved it. Coke or Pepsi? Full fat Coke, Pepsi Max. But if I'm in a restaurant and someone's like, is Pepsi okay? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. You only live once, right? <laughs> team Edward or Team Jacob? Um, I, I I hate both of them. But if I wanted to be anything, I think it would be a werewolf. So I think, yeah. What's your favorite Disney film? Princess and the Frog, Always Forever. Tiana is the best Disney princess. Yeah. Followed you for ages and I haven't done anything problematic. Why am I blocked from your Instagram? Oh. Also, thank you so much for doing this. And okay, so reasons I block people on Instagram is because they tag me in a giveaway. <laughs> they send me, um, maybe, has your Instagram been hacked or something like that? Um, if I get like hacked messages, I tend to block people because I think it's a spam account. Um, maybe I did it by accident, I don't know. I would say message me, but you're blocked. Let me screenshot your name and I'll look into that. Okay, sorry about that, I don't know. Um, I, I don't really tend to block people unless they say something offensive or something like that. But if you haven't, then I don't know. Maybe it was an accident. Regarding the C word, we need to remove the power. Women are in danger because of this taboo. This naughtiness, this mystery that we play up about autonomy is ridiculous. The difference between... Wait, sorry. Um, as in it's a good thing or a bad thing? Shrek is the best Disney film. Alyssa, you know what you're doing there. <laughs> What was the first movie you saw in theaters? I think it was The Lion King or the first Jurassic Park. Do you have a favorite lounge fly bag? Yes, I do. It's my, um, oh, I don't, do I even have it? Yeah, I do. It's a Steamboat Willie one. So it's all gray, it's all black and white and gray and it has the Mickey and the um, steering wheel from the Steamboat. <laughs> Hey, Naz, Naz, how are you? I would say Nazzy then, that's it, you know. Mine was the first Jurassic Park, yeah. Robert, what is the most funny story while doing makeup on a client? I actually thought about this the other day, right? And there was this lady with her um, daughter and I was doing her makeup and they were, they were like normal, just normal people. And the woman was closing her eyes, obviously, because I did her makeup. And then her daughter came and, like, leant on her lap because the chairs are quite high up, so we don't hurt our backs. And the daughter just laid on her lap like this and closed her eyes and started singing something. It wasn't English, because um, I couldn't understand it, unless it was English, and I was really, like, weird that day. And then the mum joined in. They were both closing their eyes and singing. And then the daughter just, they just went back to normal. <laughs> But it was a really slow, almost like, it was like a hymn, but not a hymn. It was really, it was really strange. And I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Robert, do you like Ghibli movies? Yes, I do. I love them. I had them all on DVD. I think I still have them somewhere. Yes, sorry, Naz. I don't know what happened there. What happened to Ghost Stories this week? I had um, sound issues. I forgot to record with my microphone, which happens often, but because I only record one every two weeks, I never have something to replace it with. Um, and I know some people just listen to the sound of those videos, so I I, I wasn't going to upload it because I was like, it's too, it's too, um, it's terrible. The sound was terrible. And then I was on holiday, so I couldn't do anything about it. How do you pronounce the word aluminium? Like that, aluminium. <laughs> Have you ever tried Brazilian makeup brands? No, I was asked this about Mexican makeup brands. If you are from a country that has a specific makeup brand that's from your country, let me know. I would love to try it. Um, I'll try that. Have you or James considered doing Cameo? No. Hey, any tips for keeping your foundation on your nose while blending? I use a beauty blender and find it takes it off with blending. Also, any tips for keeping makeup with oily sweat, um, 
when oily and sweaty. Sweaty, no, not so much. It's just about retouching. Keeping your foundation on your nose, my answer for everything, eye primer. It's a little bit slippy up here and a little bit like, ooh, the foundation doesn't really quite know what to grip onto, especially if you're using a beauty blender. Get an eye primer, like a tiny bit, really warm it up and make it like a cream and push it into the nose. And then you have a really nice base for um, something. Hey, Rob, love your channel. Oh my God, let's talk about the vile makeup art, as you mentioned on TikTok. I'm guessing Charlotte Tilbury. So for those of you who don't know, on TikTok, I shared a story about a friend who, this was back in 2011, who was doing Fashion Week and the key makeup artist who was like, the person who keeps track of all the makeup artists, like almost like the manager of a makeup artist for that show. Um, was horrific to her. She she this makeup artist now has their own brand and they um are quite they're they're a proper makeup artist. It's not an influencer. It's it's not like anyone you see on YouTube or anything like that. So my friend was doing like a, a graphic liner um and it went a little bit dodgy. So the makeup artist comes over the key makeup artist and was like, this is wrong. This is shit. You need to sort your shit out. Get a fucking grip. Grabs her makeup brush and throws it across the room and then just walks away. But you saying this, right? I had so many messages from makeup artists who back in the day um, worked with this makeup artist, were all sharing their horrific experiences with me. And they knew who it was because someone they knew of them, that happened to them as well. I had so many messages, like I couldn't, I was like, oh my God, how do so many people have the same experience? Um. Don't answer if too personal, but was your mum born in Mexico and moved to the UK or was she born in the UK too? No, she was born in Mexico and then moved to the UK. Robert, your scary stories helps me get through migraines. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of a show Glow Up? I haven't watched it for a really long time, but I thought it was cool. I think it's a really good concept. Thank you to whoever recommended the lash cocaine. What is this lash cocaine? Does everyone in the UK really despise James Corden? I hate him, but I don't know about everyone else. But then again, I know people that have worked closely with him and have bad stories. So, <laughs> Do you have a favourite flower? No, I don't actually. Aloha from Hawaii. Hey, food guilty pleasure. Who knows about my cheese thing, my melted cheese on bread? So... <laughs> <laughs> and this is my dad's fault because he showed me this right you get two slices of bread not toast just normal bread and put them on a plate and then you get milk and boil it in in a pan <laughs> and then put cheddar cheese in it and make like this <laughs> like um <laughs> curd thing and you pour it on the toast bread even and you give it a few minutes and it kind of hardens and then you eat it like that. I haven't done that in so long because I have such IBS, bad IBS. <laughs> Robert, I want to thank you. Oh, thank you. I started doing makeup thanks to your videos and how you explain it all so well. Now on my path to become a makeup artist. I love you. I love that. Thank you so, so much. That's amazing. Why does everyone hate James Corden? Genuine question. I asked someone this once and they proceeded to insult my intelligence. Oh, you're not unintelligent just because of someone else's personal opinion, but he's quite arrogant. I think uh, from what uh, stories about him and there's been stories in like newspapers, not that you should believe in newspapers, but again, I know people that would have worked on set with him um, and he's really rude, really rude and really arrogant. Apparently, allegedly, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I know, Ellen. I'm so sorry. That's the cheese. Lacto-free cheese. Oh my God, you're a genius. <laughs> I know what I'm having for dinner tomorrow. How can one become a member? Oh, you can go to my um, profile, my main YouTube homepage and click join. It is delicious, Brittany. It's really, really nice. <laughs> Question, Robert, do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? If yes, who are some of your favorite queens? Would you ever want to be a guest judge on the show? I mean, if they asked me to like clean the stage, I would say yes. Um, I love Monet Exchange. Um, Evie Oddly is really cool as well. Um, I'm trying to think who else, maybe from other seasons. Mm, Pharamone is great. Um, who else? Alexis Mateo. 
Um, I met Alexis Mateo in Florida and Ty, was it Tyra Sanchez from season two? Yeah. Do you watch James's videos? No, we don't watch each other's video. Or do you mean specifically this one? We actually don't watch each other's <laughs> stuff. I'm subscribed to him, but we don't watch each other's videos. Um, Cause like, why would you want to watch just your family talking, you know? Um, ah, when you have a cheese, I love cheese so much. Um, can you please give more tutorials on contouring, please, on your ghost stories? Yeah, sure. I met Monet. The show was in Glasgow, and a couple of the queens came into Primark when I worked at. Oh no way! I hope they were nice. Listen, if you are at genuinely trying with, with the milk, cheese, and bread, you, it's perfect. It starts to look like oil separating from the milk, and then you know it's ready. <laughs> yeah, I know. We have guests on the channel. Yeah, I would. Do you like Trixie and Cassia? Yes. I think I'm going to see them next year. Or this year. I can't remember. Thank you for donations and nominals. When you're doing clients' makeup, what's the biggest pet peeve someone arrive with? Oh, so if I'm doing something, I don't like it when they sharpen a full face of makeup. I get wanting to wear makeup to the destination, but when it's like mascara, liner, like the whole thing, it's like, you look ready to go out. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. So what's the milk to cheese ratio? So almost like, I don't know, like that much milk on the bottom of a pan. And then one, two, three, four, five, maybe six good slices of like cheddar, cheddar cheese. How was filming with Selena Gomez? Incredible, very nerve wracking, um, but really incredible. She was a really great person and made me feel like instantly, like it was no big deal, like it was instantly comfortable. Really great, which reminds me, only murders in a building starts again tonight. I really want to submit a ghost story and notice that no one submits video stories. I wonder if people are worried about viewers being mean. Yeah, yeah, you could be right, Cheryl. Um, yeah. Robert, you were in dream. Ugh. Robert, you were in my dream last night. You were a doctor. I told my mom about it, and she said you would make a really good doctor. I think I would. No, I don't think I would. <laughs> are you excited for the second season of Only Murders in the Building? Yeah, I am. It's such a great, great show. What's your favorite type of plant milk? Um, oat milk. I don't like soy milk. Oat milk because it tastes, I guess, like creamier. And I think I like that more in like my coffee and stuff. Intoxicopedia, exactly. Thank you, Steve. C. Steverson for your donation. Thank you so much. And Anonymous, thank you so much for your donation. 3,600. I don't watch Stranger Things. Ah, oh, my bum. I got uh, numb. Um, I didn't watch, I stopped watching Stranger Things because the last season before this one, I was like, why is it turning into like a romantic comedy? Like, I just want horror. I just want to be fucking scared. I want to feel sick because I'm scared so much. <laughs> I would watch a tutorial on your milk cheese bread. Consider it done. Consider it done. Ah, ah. Have you tried potato milk? No, but I would. I'll give it a go. We'll give any food a go. Have you had any more foot incidences since your last foot skin root? No, uh, kind of. I got like a proper foot grater and accidentally grated my shin. So. Yeah, everyone's saying this season of Stranger Things is definitely a lot more horror. I'm going to see you live. Love from Mumbai, India. I watch a lot of your videos on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I keep looking at my camera here, but I keep forgetting it's up there. 
<laughs> oh, no way. Try melted cheese on a tortilla, but make sure tortillas. I have absolutely done melted cheese on a tortilla, of course. <laughs> Do you listen to morbid podcasts? No, but I was recommended it recently. I asked for um, um, recommendations for podcasts for my flight, um, and I was not recommended. But I haven't listened to it. I didn't. You know when you, you you have all these plans for a plane and you never do anything. Would you ever do a meet and greet with James, Marcus, and Ashen? I would with James. Um, it isn't really Marx's thing. I don't know if Ashton was wanted to, I would do it, but I don't know if it's her thing really either. But um, yeah, of course, yeah. If someone paid you well, would you travel to do their makeup? Yeah, but it would have to be like extremely well. <laughs> So glad you reminded me of our only murders in the buildings. Back, I'm on bed rest. Oh no, with my illness, I've been so bored. So yeah, it's something new to watch. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Listen, if you um, if you haven't watched it already, there's a show called Hacks, H-A-C-K-S. And it's about this like female comedian who hires um, a younger female comedian to write for her. And it, it's just, it's so good. It's like feel good TV. It's really good. And Abba Elementary, Elementary, Abba Elementary is is so good as well. If you want to watch that as well, get through everything. Robert, do you have any plans for future videos, like a favorite highlighter or foundations video? I can do. Yeah. What kind of Mex Mexican food is available in the UK? This is exactly it. Not much in in the UK. We don't really have um me huge Mexican culture. Um. There's me Mexican restaurants, but it's your typical, like, oh, <laughs> oh, you know, it's not. I'm sure there's some places maybe in London that do some good stuff, but um, yeah. Uh, it was, um... You've got Taco Bell where you are. Yeah, Taco Bell is questionably Mexican. <laughs> What, in your opinion, are the best budget eyeshadow palettes? The e.l.f. mini eyeshadow palettes are amazing. They are so, so good. The ones with the four shades in, they're like $3 or something. Get two of those and you have like a palette. <laughs> Melted cheese sounds like a good name for a highlighter. Yeah, imagine that like gold and shine. <laughs> Do you have a favorite MUA, dead or alive? One of my absolute favorites who I've always been inspired by and always reminds me of the artistry in makeup is Alex Box. Um, because she's just so incredibly creative and yeah. Thanks, Tom. Would love to meet you and James. One day I would love to get like a meet and greet thing going, you know. Thank you so much, Natalie, for joining. Welcome. The amazing Mexican places in Brighton that opened last year, quite pricey, but so good. Oh, Maggie, it seems like I have to go to Brighton. You've got haunted houses, you've got Mexican food. Would you film a video doing um, subscribers' makeup? Listen, literally right before the pandemic, me and James had this whole almost like series planned where we reached out to some subscribers and um, asked them, basically. We said, does anyone, I can't remember how we got them, but we set up, we we're going to LA and we we're going to do some people's um, skincare and makeup and all this kind of stuff. And um, it just didn't happen because of the pandemic. Yeah. P.S. really admire your charity work, by the way, terrible what's going on in the world. I know, it's awful. Do you watch Drag Race? I do. Any other interesting client stories? Love the one with you and Ashton and the Indian wedding and sleeping in the car at McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, me and Ashton worked together a few times on makeup. Do I have any other? I'm sure I have. I have a runaway bride, but, but there's a whole video for that if you want to watch that. So I won't tell you that. I'll let you watch the video. Um, 
Not really, to be honest. Yeah, I, not off the top of my head. I, I'm sure I'll think of something as soon as I end this live. The amount of glitter you wear should be proportional to how much you're getting paid to do it. Do you agree? The amount of glitter you wear should be proportional to how much you're getting paid to do it. Yeah, because I hate glitter. I do agree. <laughs> Please help me with my under eyes. They're always dry no matter what I do. Have you tried a priming oil? Priming oil. And then go um, on top with something. Just want to say hi and bye. I really appreciate this as a woman living in the Bible Belt in Arkansas. But I got to go because I'm at work. <laughs> Glad I got a chance to stop by. But thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you. I appreciate it. Which priming oil? Beauty Bakery. Do one of my favorites. And Elf. Do a really good one too. I'd love to see your collab with Lord McLean. <laughs> yes. What's your McDonald's order? Double quarter pound of a cheese meal, large with um, a regular Coke. And if I want more, like if I'm having like a cheat day, a cheat day, every fucking day is a cheat day, then maybe some chicken nuggets and maybe a McFlurry, but plain McFlurry. Cold chocolate isn't right. Question Which Disney collaboration do you want to see? Um, Bessemer do the best Disney collaborations. I would love to see a Princess and the Frog one. I'm still waiting for someone to do that, like an actual licensed one, because um, I think that'd be amazing. I love the villains collaborations as well. Yeah, thank you. I'll add it to my list. I also want to say thank you for your podcast. I was so ill on Sunday, so my boyfriend put it on in the car. I mean, laughing even though the pain. So thank you. Thank you. I hope you're okay. I hope you're you're getting better. I'm sorry to your to your boyfriend for having to listen to our podcast. <laughs> I wish to own lunatic labs, but they are pricey for my budget. They are pricey. They are great. Ritual defil. Yes. Oh my God. As if I forgot to mention it. I have it here. The primer oil. This one is stunning. A tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. The fawn oil is so good. It's Ritual Defee, I believe it's pronounced. I just called it Ritual Defee, but really, really good. It's called Fawn Oil Priming Facial Elixir. Really, really good. It's it's right here. I use it all the time. How did I forget? I have so much stuff. It just goes over my head. Um, Have you listened to the podcast, Alien Theorist Theorizing? No, but I will. About aliens? <laughs> Any advice for an artist stuck working with a less than desirable makeup brand at work? That's a good question because sometimes you work, you know, not work with brands, but sometimes you, you might have things that you might not like to try. <sighs> That's really difficult because I honestly can't say if I don't enjoy using the products, it's a big thing for me. I have to enjoy using the products otherwise i feel like i'm not doing my best my only thing would be i mean i would just go in trying to experiment a little bit more i think as artists we can keep learning all the time what brush is better for this what textures are better for this what kind of building is better you know can you use a different product for something else that's a really difficult one, a really good question. And I'm sorry that wasn't the best answer because I, I know how you how you would feel. Um, Jojo. Um, what does primer oil do, Robert? It's almost like primer, um, but it's a little bit more, it's going to give more of a, not a layer on the skin, but more of a, imitated hydrated skin so it's not like super hydration but it almost gives the impression and the surface of a super hydrated skin if you use a tiny tiny little bit then it, it works great will you do more educational videos please tristan yes um yes i will <laughs> um I made the balloon models for you and James. I loved making them. Rhea, I love it. I still have a picture on my phone of folks. <laughs> I love them. Uh, what's the most gimmicky makeup trend you've seen that you think is absolute BS and absolutely not needed? Oh, so many, so many. But I think it's more like the underpainting with the red lip product. Underpainting is definitely a real thing, but that's not how you do it. And when people are like, oh, I do it like this, and they magically go to like a face that's like, no. 
Would you try the Chinese makeup brand that looks super elegant and like an art piece? No, because I don't have a foundation that's even my shade. <laughs> so. Oh, what do you think of Manny NUA and Luna Beauty? I keep going back and forth about investing in his products. I love his contents. I adore those products. The lip glosses are like no other formula I've ever used in my life. They are absolutely stunning. So comfortable on the lip. It's like water and lip gloss. It, it, it's beautiful. If you get anything, get the lip products, but also invest in a palette. The Nude Prism palette would be a great one to go for. How many sponsorships do you decline usually per a month? Um, quite a few, to be honest with you. I'm not a very... Um, hmm, quite a few, <laughs> quite a few, but only because, and I mean things like a game will come in that I don't actually play or don't, you know, want to talk about or um, some some random things. I only really do it. Um, yeah, sponsorships that I genuinely really want to do. Um, what do you think of a Nimia gloss launch? Percy, I think it's quite boring. Mm, I think it's difficult. I think, I haven't seen it, so I can't actually say, but I feel like glosses can be kind of boring. Um, but if you're a lip product person, which I am, I love a nude gloss, and it's definitely something I'll be interested in. Um, I think people look at Nimia and they look at Nikki and they expect something vibrant and outrageous and artistry and all this kind of stuff but when you think about it from a oh his false lashes yes the lunar lashes sorry um from a business point of view she has to appeal to everyone to then benefit from sales so it's difficult it's it's difficult i asked above but you're far past it which eyebrow tint and laminate do you use I don't do them myself anymore, and I wouldn't recommend one I use because I burn my skin. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Thank you for doing the Skillshare sponsorships every five seconds. Nothing winds me up more. <laughs> Always Skillshare is an online learning community with every time. I... I do Skillshare sponsorships, but not every five seconds, but I... I really love Skillshare. That's another thing that I um, wanted to do because I've used them before. So I, I really, really liked them. Um, but I've done like, I think I did free. Yeah. Favorite American fast food. You know what? Your Domino's is different to ours. And you guys have the pasta bread bowls, which we don't have here. Everything tastes different. The crust, everything tastes different. So the Domino's pasta um, bread bowls. <laughs> Ow, oh my God. This... What is the most common mistake you observe in common people, common people maker? Um, I know what you mean. Um, it's just the carelessness and no precision when applying product. Bronzer everywhere, highlighter just here and here, and not thinking about where it's going to go is probably the most common and using the wrong sh shade of foundation. Thank you, Maggie. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Robert, what did you have for dinner? I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> Any good book recommendations? I don't read. I'm dyslexic. So reading a book is a bit of a chore for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation, Liz Lizelle, I want to say. Have you seen Domino's in India? It's like 80p for a piece. Are you kidding me? It's like 30 pounds here for a <laughs> when you order. <laughs> Almost at 4K, yeah, we're really close. Oh, don't apologize for your English. The fact that you can speak more than one language is makes you one of the cleverest people in the world. <laughs> what is your favorite true crime YouTube channel? Well, of, the obvious, Bailey Syrian, but I've recently discovered Mr. Bolan as well, or Bolan, Bolan. Really good, really good, like quick stories, really good. Do you use any, what's, I don't know what that is. Have you tried Trixie Cosmetics? I have. And I was like, yeah, it was good. 
The glosses I had a bit of a struggle with, but I think it was like a temperature thing. Robert, would you recommend Urban Decay Hydromaniac? Ah, oh, that's what I was thinking of earlier for combination skin. Lynn, yes, I would. I love that foundation. I was trying to say that to someone earlier who asked about the tinted moisturizers. Even though it's a foundation, it sits almost like a tinted moisturizer. Love that foundation. I want to get that again, actually. Have you ever thought of doing a ghost and story, ghost stories and makeup live stream? No, because um, as I mentioned, I'm dyslexic and I read from an auto cue and they're stories I've never re read before. Um, it's put together for me by Ashton and I read the stories as they are. So as I read them, it's my real reaction to the story. So sometimes I have to sit and take a second to figure out the next sentence. And the auto cue is voice activated. So it, it runs when I talk. So it might be a bit slow. It might be a bit, you know. Do you think, when do you think the Death Samaritan Foundation will come to the UK? Dying to try it. Where did I get it from? I have it and I don't know where I got it from. We're always late, aren't we? I, it's on, is it not on Cult Beauty or something like that? Sorry if you, um, responded to this but are you planning on filming any ghost stories and makeup soon no rush but my absolute fave yeah i am i'm so sorry i had a problem with the audio i explained it in the video so it'll be monday coming um that will be back out um but i couldn't film it again because i was away so i i had to miss the week i'm so sorry any celebrity makeup awful experience no what i found with celebrities when you when you meet them or do their makeup the most famous ones are the most well behaved and the like zedless celebrities you know who i really met and i think only people in the uk would know who this is who who are similar to my age um but the cheeky girls were so rude thank you tiffany for your donation and thank you roxat anonymous jessica thank you so much um yeah oh his name is john b allen but his channel name is mr ball and yeah Hello from the P Philippines. Thank you so much. Good luck. Stay healthy. And you, thank you so much. Do you recommend the I Heart Revolution chocolate palettes? No, because their owner is extremely racist. Um, which celeb would you want to do makeup for? Um, well, I answered this earlier. I should have said Michelle Obama, but let me think of someone else I could do what, what to do. Mm, who do I who do I like? Um I don't know. Any bad experiences with other influencers? No, everyone I've met has been amazing. Really, really nice. Shayness, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think you were nominous. I'm thinking everyone who's anonymous still, <laughs> even if I have to say your name is anonymous. <laughs> 4K, yes. Oh my God, amazing. Okay. Food, food. Uh, Japanese makeup brushes. Oh no, I haven't tried them. Hi from Cornwall, hi. When are we gonna get makeup collab with your name? Who knows? Greetings from Florida. Bet you're happy to not have to live through another blazing Florida summer. Absolutely, but I miss Florida a lot. Denessa Marix is on Beauty Bay. Ah, amazing. No, I haven't listened to that spooky pod. Sounds good. Sounds like I will listen to. Okay, 4K. We need another 1,000. <laughs> Where are your gorgeous dark green makeup brushes from? So we have um, Spectrum, which is these ones, or we have these, which are the Rose and Ben ones with the black thing. These are beautiful. These are also beautiful. What is your favorite Disney villain? If, not, if it's not Maleficent, it's wrong. It is Maleficent. I was obsessed with Maleficent. I collected all the stuff with her on. Absolutely love her. Thoughts on Wayne Goss makeup? I've loved everything I've tried from Wayne Goss except the foundation. <laughs> Skin up, yeah. I've been good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Katie, for your donation. Thank you. Would you get a glass skin facial in Korea? And do you have the Disney Milan palette shaped like a fan? No, I don't have a palette. And yes, I would. I would get any kind of skin treatment in Korea. What a good place to have it done. What's your dream travel destination? I, at the moment, it's just anywhere cold. I just want to go to like a snowy place with a cabin, something like that, you know? Thoughts on Kimchi Beauty. It wasn't the best, I'll be honest. Best cheap brushes, Beauty Bay. Their own brand brushes are really, really good. What colorful eyeshadow palette would you recommend? All the love from KSA. Where's that? Um, Beauty Bay, again, <laughs> their own um, big palettes. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. Lots of love from... Suriname? Suriname. 
love your videos. I definitely said that wrong. Thank you so much. Um, Faith Country, kisses from Spain. Um, that changes a lot. <laughs> I'm late. Did you have a nice holiday? Or was that James? No, that was me. And I had an amazing time. Thank you. Have you received a ghost story that you thought was too scary to share with us? I received a ghost story that was... Um, somebody made it kind of personal in a really weird way about me. And I stopped filming like right there and then I was like, fuck it, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do this anymore. It really put me off for the day. <laughs> it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Oh, thank God. Do you like, do you like all the standard English foods like beans on toast? Yeah. Love it. I love beans on toast. Some of the stuff people are seeing online are a bit um, like not quite how it's done, but you do be beans on toast toast beans and then like plastic cheese melted on top beautiful i haven't tried it try it tk maxx have morphe brushes that are super cheap oh they have um morphe now robert do you have any stories about being aged 16 to 18 because it sounds like you were unhinged no i was just a bit of an asshole <laughs> i can't even remember to be honest with you hello from cape town it's winter here momentarily i love it oh lucky you what do you think about the next shine Shine Loud Lipsticks. Are they any good? I haven't tried them. Robert, what's your um, favorite? Oh my God, where did that go? Robert, what's your favorite nude palette that you can recommend? Thank you so much for doing this. And so much for the love from Detroit. Thank you, Randy. Um, two, the Prism, um, Luna Beauty Nude Prism Palette, the, the eyeshadow palette is really good. Or Beauty, again, Beauty Bay's own, the Big 42 palettes, because they have a mixture of cool and warm nudes. It's not just all like one tone. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you for joining. KSA is Saudi Arabia. Oh, hey. I'm from Rhode Island. If you could scoop up anything from Disney, what would it be going in November? Mm, I don't know. I just love everything. I love a good Disney mug. <laughs> is there any chance for you to do Judy D's makeup? Do you know how much I would love to do her makeup after watching all her horrible experiences? Have you tried Trini London like or pass? I did try it. It's a pass from me. Have you ever tried poutine? Yes. I love it. Do you have any Disney ears? Do I? Yeah, I do. I have a few. Uh, not that I wear them. Favorite and least favorite things about British culture? That's a tough one. Favorite thing is, I just like it. I'm used to it. It's my home thing. Least favorite thing, and I think this can go for most countries, is when people use patriotism or being patriotic as an excuse for racism and discrimination. And I think sometimes that happened with us when, for example, when Brexit happened, there were a lot of racial attacks and things like that. And I think a country can be so patriotic to a point where they, it's almost like racist. I know it sounds really strange, but it's it's not everyone, of course, but you you can't use your country's culture or your country's something as to be racist. Have you been to any Caribbean countries? No, I haven't yet. What do you think of, of a TikTok's British makeup trend for one with darker foundation? I always remember, and I've said this a lot, it's nationalism, not patriotism, yeah. Um, when I was in Australia, I was doing someone's makeup and they heard my accent and she said to me, don't make me look like British girls. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so it's definitely a thing. You can't deny it, can you really? Do you like any of the Disney Winnie the Pooh characters? No, it's not my favourite. My husband and I love Taskmaster. Master. Have you ever watched it? We always wonder if you, James, or Marcus do too. I haven't seen, I've seen it, but I haven't watched it. Uh, maybe I'll give it a try, yeah. Oh, 
Oh my God, it's all moving. Do you think Vi Viziar is worth a price? Yes, I do. I really, really like them. Will Frankie and Winnie ever make cameos in your videos or on Welsh Twins? There is a cameo of all our dogs on the Welsh Twins video. If you go back to February, there's a failed Valentine's Day video that we um, try to film. Do you have any celebrity crushes? No, I hate too many people. <laughs> What's the most unexpected best thing that's come out of YouTube? The most unexpected is meeting people who, and talking to people who I didn't think I would ever get the opportunity to speak to. And they are people that I looked up to and idolized, not influencers, like people who work in the industry. getting a chance to speak to them and talk to them and communicate with them, which I would have never had done if I didn't do YouTube and and hearing them say that they like what I do on YouTube. One thing when I started to be an influencer, but because I had such a long time in the makeup industry before the influencer industry was I was concerned about maybe what I was doing. I don't know, there's this almost like, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's some maybe like some mature makeup artists on YouTube who blatantly hate um, influencers and what they do and all this kind of stuff and the advice they give. And I think me being able to mix my professional experience with influencer experience, I hoped it had this nice balancing out thing. And to hear that from people and to hear like one of your favorite makeup artists who you've looked up to for years say, I love what you do. I watch your videos is like amazing. So having that experience of, of people, you know, yeah, it's nice, unexpected and, but very welcoming, really, really nice. What has been inspiring you lately? A good question, Elise. You know what's been really, really good? Um, watching the younger makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts on TikTok discover stuff that we used to do years ago, but making it new and making it their own and almost having like a modern version of what we used to do. And it's kind of, it's kind of that thing of like, there's still things to learn, even in the old techniques that we used to use. What is your best match for foundation and concealers? What shade is your best match for? For me, it, the, the best match I've had is the, not right now because I'm slightly tanned, is the, oh, where the fuck is it on? Oh, here it is. The um, Lisa Eldridge, it's number 11 from her foundation. And, oh, where, oh my God, please don't say that's accidentally thrown it away. The Rimmel London, wait, are they going bankrupt or bankrupt or is that? Revlon, Revolution, Revlon. Um, oh, I'll need, I'll need to find the shade. I think it's in one of my um, videos. Mm -hmm. Thank you for donations. I know that was a difficult question, but you, lo but love the answer truly. Oh, thank you. What are the best ways to keep? Um, what are the best ways to touch up your makeup through the day to keep it from drying out and becoming really textured and gross looking? Rehydrating and refreshing your makeup. So a hydrating mist, not a setting spray, um, and not like a water spray either. Oh, this is a really good one. Um, so this this I use a lot. This is the Josh, Josh Rose Brook Hydrating Accelerator Hydrating Facial Mist. And um, this is in the, um, this is Caroline Hirons X them. And um, this is perfect. If I have foundation on it and I'm filming like three videos, and I'm sitting here sweating and I need to touch something up and I powder too much, I'll spray this and it's almost like new again, you know? $900 to go. Yes, let's get it. If we don't reach it, I'll make it up anyway. But this is, um, who filed? Revlon, that's it, filed for bankruptcy. Um, this is an ongoing thing, so it isn't just now. That's a chance to make money. People can still donate. Robert, I know you don't cook. Does your fiance do the cooking or do you guys order in every day? My fiance cooks incredibly well. I have been to steak restaurants that are expensive and ate the steak and I'm like, yours tastes better or this is just like you make it at home like why are we here you know and the places where it's like we had some chicken in a restaurant the other day and i was like Craig, this is exactly what we have at home you know so it's he's really good at cooking how your journey started as a makeup artist i was 18 or 17 
um that's it really and i just wanted to get into something i wanted to get into makeup um and um i went to prosthetic makeup but my mom suggested normal makeup and it went from there um what which conspiracy theory is least likely least likely to be rubbish <gasps> oh my god i don't know like the princess diana one i want to say sorry people who love royalty i'm sorry <laughs> Ghost story question. Can I video myself doing my own makeup while I tell my ghost story? Yeah. Or would you be, or would you be against my sister and I telling the story together? Also, whatever have one of them more than one story. Absolutely do whatever you want. A hundred percent. Just make sure it's a good a good story and a good flow to it. <laughs> Why does James think that your house is haunted? Is he he's just winding me up? Yeah. <laughs> just thought I mentioned it since I don't know if Robert knows since he's not in the US. Oh wait, what did you say? Did I miss out? I think I missed what you said. Feel the joy. I think I missed what you said. Oh, a lot of us in states that have abortion rights protected by law are creating networks to help provide travel and accommodation for those seeking them who live in the states where they are now illegal, incredible, amazing. Just so you know, I always quote your stupid bitch moment from your Welsh Tins channel. <laughs> yeah, so guys, yeah, thank you. Which highlighter would you recommend? I have a Soap X Revolution, but it's not that reflective at all. Oh, and doesn't show on my skin. Oh, I love that one. Um, have you tried like just scraping the surface just to almost like renew the powder? Other than that, I love the um, uh, Rare Beauty um, liquid ones. If you want a powder, um, who make a really good one at a similar price? Beauty Bay. <laughs> Beauty Bay make their own and it's, it's really, really good. Um, did you work at Disney? What did you do? I did. I was a cast member for two years. First year I worked in merchandise in um, Epcot in the UK Pavilion. And then um, the second year, I worked in the Rose and Crown pub in the UK Pavilion with my fiance. We both went at the same time. I know you don't want to share much about your family, but based on the little things you mentioned, it sounds like you have a lot of love and support. I'm very happy um, you have that. It's deserved. Thank you so much. And you're very right. Um, yeah, it, it, I have no issues, no anything with my family. Nah, it's been, you just hyped up my cooking, but can we get Domino's tonight, please? That's my fiance. Yes, we can. <laughs> Connor, adventure donate five five. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Did you and James always have plans to start a joint channel, or was it a COVID lockdown project? It was a COVID project and requested because we lived right next to each other. You Sue, we've moved. Um. And we were like in each other's bubbles. So we were like, let's just do it. Um, oh, a real Brit in a UK pavilion. Fancy. Yeah. So not now because of COVID, but every country in, um, bring in cast members from their own country. It's called the Cultural Representative Program. And they get people from their own country to go and represent it. So when you're walking around Disney in Epcot, when you go into each pavilion, it's actual people from their own countries. All the English people that would come in would think that we will put in on accents and pretending, but... Do you judge cats if they want more? <laughs> do you judge cats if they want a more sassy club look? What do you mean? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Have you seen that video of a staff member at Disneyland snatching the ring off the guy who was proposing to his girlfriend? I have. Um, don't blame him because Disney have very strict rules when it comes to safety and there were pyrotechnics on there. But what I would have done personally is let him finish, let her say yes, and be like, thanks guys, let's come down here and let's, gonna get, let's go and get you, I don't know, some ears, complimentary ears or something, you know? Um, how did it go with the birds? Oh, that bird. So for those who don't know, this, is, <laughs> this keeps changing. Um, um, what were we saying? The, right, the bird. So this bird one morning, I noticed my one of my dogs like, like going backwards and forwards and like, stepping away from this thing i went over and there was a little bird just sitting in the grass so i think he fell out his nest 
Um, and I think it was a he because of the colour. I'm not just assuming, I'm not assuming it's he. Um, so I, I fenced off that part of a garden and then I put another like protective fence, but one where the mum and dad bird could come in and sit and jump in and feed it because they kept coming in and feeding the bird. This fucking little bird, every time I went out, it made its way further down the garden. So I had to keep moving all these fences and, and going out to check and all this other stuff. I don't know if I can ask this, but are you a gold star? I don't know what that means. Gold star gay? What does that mean? Let me just Google that one second. Gold star gay. A person who has never had sex with the opposite gender. Yes, I am. And actually, I was a cesarean. <laughs> so I'm super gold star. I'm platinum. Uh, <laughs> Nikita, thank you so much. Anonymous, thank you. Would you... Uh, no. <laughs> Would you ever reconsider your feelings regarding Jeffree Star? No. Have you ever tried magnetic lashes? And do you know any that actually work? I would love to... I would love to not have to worry about lash glue residue, yeah. But I hear the magnetic lashes don't stay. I really didn't like them, Amanda. I thought they were a little bit tricky. Um, and also, I didn't feel like they got close enough to, to the thing. But it's a good concept. I just wish there was a way to make it a bit better. Pineapple and pizza are there. Absolutely. I love pineapple and pizza. I don't care what anyone says. Mine always steal my club garments to go out on the town. That's so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are we? 4.4. .4. Oh my God, what perfect answer to that question. Thank you so much. Any tips for glasses? Uh, where are we? Would you ever post a drag makeup look? Um, hmm, hmm, yeah, maybe. I'm not the best at drag. I actually did a drag certification to learn how to do drag. And it's not something, and I haven't done it since. So it's not something I would be comfortable maybe giving advice on, if that makes sense. Hmm. Club pineapple and ham. Pizza, yes, yeah. What would you recommend eyeshadow palettes for a teen that is like that is extremely affordable from a fellow English? Hey, Dark Skull Elf, the mini ones. There's four little eyeshadows. They are amazing, amazing quality. They're about three pounds each, so you can get three, six, nine, twelve. Spend twelve quid on a moment. You got four palettes for a. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Sixteen sh shadows. Perfect. Dream travel destination. Oh, Japan. I really want to go to Japan. Super want to go to Japan. The platinum, yeah. Question, have you bought all your Christmas gifts for James off Wish yet? Ready for Christmas? No, I'm a bit late. You have to do that in January. My scar has a forehead. Uh, my, uh, my son has a scar on his forehead from my cesarean. How did you get your scar? I rode a bike down some stairs. <laughs> Are you allergic to anything? Yeah, penicillin. <laughs> there you go. Um, Rob, what do you recommend as a makeup remover? Can I show this? Yeah, I think I can show this. Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind. It's like, um, it's a, almost like an oil remover. Like, you know, when you double cleanse, oh no, I just got powder all over the floor. Um, and it's like an oil cleanser, but it's not um, greasy. You, it, you don't have that feeling of oil left on the skin afterwards. It's just really, really comfortable. I'm going to have to go in a minute. Um, I would, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, everyone, I'm going to have to go. We got to 4.4 thousand, which is amazing. This is an ongoing fund. So it's um, it doesn't just stop as soon as I close this. I'm going to match this, but I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit higher. So hopefully we'll be donating 10,000 to the abortion funds. Um, and then also AdSense from this as well will be donated. So even if it doesn't make it, we're still going to give 10,000 <laughs> no matter what. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your donations. It's been absolutely incredible. You have all been amazing. I appreciate you. If you still want to add more money to this, but you can't physically give money, which is so understandable how the world is right now, all you have to do is watch the adverts on this live back and you'll be donating as well. Thank you so, so much. I will see you all very, very soon. I don't have a video going up until Sunday, um, but yeah. That's great. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>